I think when you think about a nuclear engineer, people traditionally think of an old white man, and to see a young black yeah. woman is, yeah. is different, right? Yeah. Often, often boring, and then we see you walk in the room, and we think we would assume that you're a model. Now, what what inspired you not to go into the model about you said I am an engineer? Yeah. When so was that moment? The moment for me was in high school. I, I wanted to be a chef. And you'll see that kind of in the doctor series. I'll talk about that. I had a chemistry teacher say, you know, Sierra, you're really brilliant. You should think of being an engineer. And I, yeah. no one had ever told me that before. So for yeah. me, it was like, hmm, why would I do that? Right? Yeah. And going and doing that research, and I love chemistry, just putting the pieces together, right? Yeah. And so that worked out for me. That's very inspirational. And I also just want to know, what can you say to all of those young girls that are thinking about getting into this field or in this field? Is it competitive? And how can they get through it? Because it wasn't easy for you to get your PhD. No, it wasn't easy. And I will say, competitive is relative, right? Because a lot of times you're competing against yourself. Yeah. Getting a PhD, doing science, for, uh, engineering is all about solving problems. So it's all about how passionate are you about the task. And yeah. What is the problem that you're really passionate about? And if you're passionate about something, nothing can tear you away from that. And so I always say, you just have to be confident in what you want to do. Yeah. And once you figure that out, that'll take you the rest of the story. What do you feel that we'll be able to find out? Um, in this four part docuseries what I think you'll find is an empowering story uh, uh, something to motivate you thank you so much hey subscribe now